Hello everyone, my name is Vinny Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Adam Smith theory of economic development for UGC NET. Adam Smith theory of economic development is derived from his famous book named The Wealth of Nation. And the main point of this theory are natural law, laissez-faire policy, division of labor, capital accumulation, process of capital accumulation and stationary state. One by one we discuss about each point. First point is natural law. That means the law of self-interest. People should do work according to their interest. If they do work according to their interest, it will give them empowerment to take charge of their growth and development. Laissez-faire policy. That means there should be no intervention of government in economic activities. Division of labor. Divide work into small part and assign each part to specialized workers. Divide work into small part and assign each part to specialized workers. For example, we have to manufacture car. First of all, divide this task into small part and assign each task to specialized workers. For example, workers, those who are specialized or we can say the workers, those who are good in making handle, assign them this task. On the other hand, those who are good in making tire, assign them this task. Those who are good in designing outside mirror or we can say those who are specialized in designing outside mirror, assign them this task and every time assign the same task to every worker. By doing the same type of task for long time period, they will become expert and eventually productivity of organization will increase. Next is capital accumulation. Capital accumulation means accumulate more and more capital. And according to Adam Smith, capital accumulation is essential for economic growth. And capital accumulation means accumulate capital like machine, inventory. It also includes financial capital of business like cash, bank deposit, bonds, etc. If capital accumulation increase, that means capital per labor will also increase. Capital labor ratio increase. Now labor have more machinery, means more machineries are available for labor. As more machineries are available for labor, that means proper division of labor is possible. If proper division of labor is possible, that means laborers are working according to their specialization. As a result, their productivity increase. As productivity increase, their wages increase. So we can say the income will also increase in economy. As income increase, demand will increase, means sales of businesses will increase. As sales of businesses will increase, they will increase investment, means all these things will promote investment. And as we know, investment is good for our economic growth. As investment increase, output, employment, national income will also include and eventually our economy move towards economic growth. But according to Adam Smith, investment depends on saving. And only capitalistic class can save money, not labor class. Capitalistic class can save money because they earn more money. But labor class cannot uh, save money because they earn very less. They receive money according to subsistence level. Subsistence level means they receive wage, wages for survival only, not for saving. So according to Adam Smith, only capitalistic class can save because they earn more but labor class cannot save because they earn very less. And saving is equal to investment means if more saving then investment will increase in economy. Now we understand process of growth with the help of Adam Smith virtuous cycle of growth. Because of capital accumulation first of all capital labor ratio increase. Capital labor ratio increase means now more machineries are available for labor. As a result, proper division of labor is possible, means now we can properly divide uh, labor because more machineries are available. If proper division of uh, labor is possible, that means workers are working according to their specialization. As a result, productivity increase, output increase and income or we can say wages of, of employees will also increase. If income increase, that means demand for businesses product will also increase, their sale increase, it will increase their market and it will motivate them to invest more. As investment increase more, capital accumulation will also increase. As a result, capital labor ratio will increase again and this process will continue and this process will be called process of growth. According to Adam Smith, process of growth will end soon and economy will move towards a stationary state. According to Adam Smith, 
process of growth will end soon and economy will move towards stationary state but why process of growth will decline soon because as a population increase competition for employment also increase means now so many people are coming in market for getting job as a result labor supply is more than labor demand so wage rate will reduce means income will reduce if income reduce that means demand reduce sales of businesses product reduce their profit will reduce as a result investment will also reduce second reason of reduce profit and investment is competition among businesses also increase now so many businesses are coming market for doing business so we can say now our economy grow start declining and our economy move towards a stationary state in this diagram you can see next axis we have time period and y axis we have capital accumulation initially our economy is growing but at this s point our economy growth become maximum and this s point will be called stationary state point at this point no no increase in investment no increase in output no increase in wages and no increase in standard of living now we'll see criticism of this theory rigid division of society this theory is based on a rigid division of capitalistic class and labor class one sided saving base according to this theory only capitalistic can save but in reality salary based employees wages based employees can also save unrealistic assumption of perfect competition this theory is based on unrealistic assumption of perfect competition this theory is based on unrealistic assumption of stationary state last is ignore the role of technical technical progress as we know technical progress is essential for economic growth but this theory ignore the role of technical progress so this is all about adam smith theory of economic growth i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care